I respectfully disagree with Shaquille O'Neal when he says that Joe Embiid played soft against the Bucks. I don't believe that to be the case. The reason why Joe Embiid is not playing as well as we are accustomed to seeing is because he is injured. He injured his left finger. That's why he's not playing. That's why, excuse me, he didn't play as well against the Bucks as we thought he would. When he gets healthy, he will produce more points. He'll be more active. Now, I will say this. He did score 19 points, though. So it wasn't like he only scored two points. So he was able to score 19 points, and he had 11 rebounds. He also had a block, if I'm not mistaken. So he had a block shot on top of that. So he was productive while he was out there. He just wasn't as productive as we are accustomed to seeing. It's unfair to label somebody who we know is injured. It's unfair to say that they're playing soft. If he only scored two points and had one rebound, and if you look timid out there, then I would say, okay, he is playing soft. But he didn't look scared to me. And he did put out 19 points and 11 rebounds, and he had a block. So, so he did his thing. Like I said, he's injured. When he gets better, he will play better. For sure. I will say this about Joel Embiid. I would like him for him to lose a little bit more weight. He does at times seem out of shape. He does seem winded. So if he can lose more weight, I think that'll minimize him getting hurt. I would also like to see him not shoot too many threes. If he attempts two or three three-point attempts a game, I'm okay with that. But not more than that. Not more than three. He definitely needs to be in the low post more. He's more effective down there. The more he's down there, the easier it is for him to score. And it definitely increases the Sixers chances of winning their games. I still believe in the 76ers. I still have them making it to the NBA Finals, despite their recent struggles. And Bede will figure this out. He's talented, he's skilled, he's gifted. And we know what he can do. He's averaging 24 points a game this season. So he's not a scrub. He is producing. And the 76ers are still winning. If the season were to stop right now, they would still be in the playoffs. And as we know, the Eastern Conference is wide open. And any team that has to play the 76ers in the playoffs, they're going to be in for a long, hard day. So no, Embiid is not soft. Like I said, I respectfully disagree with Shaq. He was not playing soft. He's playing injured. If he were healthy and he put up those low numbers, I would understand. And also, Giannis did have a great game as well against the 76ers. I believe he scored 36 points and had 20 rebounds. So I think what's happening is people are comparing the way Giannis played to the way that Embiid played. Had Embiid scored 36 points and had 20 rebounds, I don't think people would be calling him soft. On top of that, the 76ers lost too. So I think that's all the reasons why he's being called soft. But he's not soft. He's not soft at all. He just needs to get himself healthy, get in better shape. Once he does that, I believe his injuries will, will, will just, it won't affect him as much. He won't be as injured as often as he is. And even now, as he's injured, he's still producing. And he's going to help the 76ers win. And they're going to make noise in the playoffs for sure. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I greatly appreciate it. And plus, by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So please remember to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that you have a blessed, wonderful day.